What's up guys, Steve Craig Retro Games back with another video and tonight's video is a pickups video I'm excited to show you guys a lot of handheld goodies and a few random Goodwill uh, pickups so um, without any further ado first we will dive into the uh, GameStop posters that I got from uh, my local GameStop uh, my buddy Phil up there always hooks me up with the advertisement posters so first uh, we'll start off with well, this wasn't an advertisement poster, but this was, uh, they had an, a, an extra one of these in the back. And this is just a, uh, one of those free Star Wars posters uh, for the Skywalker Saga. But I thought the artwork on this was absolutely awesome. So I got one of these, even though I have one of the big um, posters that they hang up in the on the wall. Then I also got uh, Mario Strikers Battle League. Love the artwork on that one. The chicken scratch style, uh, really, really cool. A lot of great colors on that one. And then also picked up the Demon Slayer, the Hinokami Chronicles. I guess that's how that's pronounced. Again, fantastic colors and awesome artwork. I love getting these uh, GameStop advertisement posters anytime I can. And then the last one is a two-parter. I normally don't get these because they're harder to display, but uh, I did get the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 two-part poster here. Uh, really, really cool design. I love the simplicity of it, but I think it's just beautiful, a beautiful poster. So really happy to add these uh, GameStop uh, posters into the collection. I've got quite a uh, quite a selection of those at this point and um, Yeah, I think those are really cool to have down the road. You can swap those in and out and uh, constantly have a changing uh, Game room wall with different game posters. So all right guys now we'll get into the actual game pickups for the video All right guys, so now we will get into the games and first, I'm going to start off with some uh, GameStop pickups. These were four for $20. I picked these up uh, plus my $5 off for the month. So uh, these were actually 15 bucks and I got them for $3.50 a piece. The first one is Inside and Limbo. This is for the Xbox One. So I do need to get a replacement case for it, but it does have uh, both of the inserts so that's pretty cool at least and uh, I can find a replacement case really easy um, but uh, Limbo I have played and beat inside I have never played before so really interested to check that out and uh, yeah for 350 I had to pick that up And I also picked up uh, Mutant Football League Dynasty Edition, obviously for the Xbox One. Uh, this is a game I'd looked at for quite a long time, but just couldn't get myself to pull the trigger on it for the price. But uh, now for $350, I uh, had to bring it home, so happy to own that. Then a PS4 game, and that is Prison Architect. Again, for $350, I couldn't leave this behind. Um, this is build and manage a prison. Uh, it looks a lot like um, like a theme park type of game. Uh, I have not played this, but it definitely looked interesting and uh, had to bring that home for the PS4. And then the last game um, is for the Xbox One, and that is the Steelbook version of Assassin's Creed Origins. And this steel book is in beautiful shape. And for $3.50, this had to come home with me. Uh, and it is all complete inside. So real happy to have these four games for cheap. Always nice when you can add some fun games for next to nothing. Uh, then I picked up a TurboGrafx-16 game. This is a fairly, uh, really common cheap game, but it is one I wanted to own nonetheless. And that is Power Golf. And this one is 
complete. So really glad to have Power Golf in the collection. All right, guys, so now we get into the two reasons you guys are checking out this video. Uh, we'll start off with Game Gear. All right, so we'll start off with the games I already have in my collection. Uh, so these are going to be extras, uh, but I got two copies of G-Lock. Itchy and scratchy, rough label. This is the only label that looks that's in bad shape, and for some reason this one's in bad shape. But I already have this game, so this will be for trade. Uh, we have Sports Trivia and Super Columns. So these are these are all games that came in this lot that I already own. So those are all extras there. And then one complete in box game I'll show you in a few minutes that uh, I already own as well. So getting into the games I didn't own, we have NBA Action. Ms. Pac-Man. NFL Quarterback Club. Spider-Man X-Men, a uh, fantastic game, great condition. We have Frank Thomas's Big Hurt. Super Monaco GP. Uh, Arton Senna's Super Monaco GP2. GP Rider, Fred Couples Golf, always enjoy a good golf game, and then the last loose game is World Series Baseball 95, then um, these all came with this lot as well. And uh, here is the manual for World Series 95. Uh, a, a manual for Chicago Syndicate, which I do not own. World Series Baseball Manual, so that one has a manual. Sonic the Hedgehog Manual. Spider-Man and X-Men, so that that cartridge has the manual. These are pretty expensive, just the two of them. I wish I had the box, but uh, this is like 70 bucks for just the game and the manual. Then we've got Echo, the Tides of Time. That's an extra manual. Uh, Super Columns manual. Revenge of Drancon, which I do not have, so I'll be on the lookout for that. The Adventures of Batman and Robin, which is a game that I've already had loose. Uh, so now I can add the manual to that one. And then the best of the lot, even though it's in uh, used condition, and that is Fatal Fury Special. This is a game I've had for a few years. Uh, this has been loved and read through, but uh, with the loose cartridge in the manual, that definitely bumps the value up. So really happy to, to have all of those manuals. And then the games that came with it, the uh, boxed games, we have Side Pocket, which obviously is pool. This is the worst box. It does have uh, some taping, it looks like, around the back. This is the worst condition. So we've got that one there. We have Poker Face Paul's Poker. Pretty basic game, but always nice to have a complete in box Game Gear game. 
the next one is chest master i think this one pretty much speaks for itself but these are all in pretty much good con you know really good condition so i'm really happy to have all of these complete in box the next one is one i already have this is a sealed copy of super battle tank uh, and my copy is also sealed so i'll either open one of these or i'm going to trade or sell uh, one of the sealed copies so this one is an extra but still nice to have and then we have a sealed copy of sonic the hedgehog 2 it even has the barcode thing and the price tag from ames 1999 but this is brand new little damage on the side there but other than that this is in beautiful shape so really happy to add that into the collection and then the cream of the crop is a sealed copy of echo the tides of time so i do have a loose copy of the first echo but i did not have this game now this box is a little crushed on the bottom and a little crushed in on the sides but this is a sealed copy and uh so really really happy to have all of these game gear games i got all of the game gear stuff as a lot and i got it for a steal of a deal um so really really happy to have just bolstered my game gear library big time um so now we will get into the Atari Lynx items. So we'll start off. These are all complete in box. And uh, Road Blasters. And all of these are in beautiful shape. My buddy Jeff from uh, Australia hooked me up with all of these. So thank you again, Jeff. I really appreciate it. These are all in gorgeous shape. So we got Road Blasters. We've got Dirty Larry, Renegade Cop. Uh, as some of you guys might know, I am going for a full North American uh, Atari Lynx set, and I am well on my way. This puts me in the 50s, complete in box. So really happy with the collection so far. We have Paperboy. I love this little handheld here. It was way ahead of its time. A very capable, very powerful machine. Some of these games are very simplistic, but some of them are just very well done. The Lynx doesn't get enough credit, but it honestly has a fantastic library of games. We've got uh, Ms. Pac-Man, gotta give her some love. So much love, in fact, that uh, she got picked up twice for two different systems and uh, not even intentional there. So she's a must have. Then you've got Quicks or Kicks. I think it's Quicks. Uh, this is a fantastic game. Another beautiful box. This is one of those draw the lines on the screen to close out. Uh, without this thing hitting the line uh, before you get to the end and you have to basically close out a percentage of the screen to move on to the next level this has been done on a multiple on multiple uh, consoles but fantastic on the links great game we have the classic robotron 20 what is this 20, 2004 i think it is can't read that funky writing. I think it's 2004. Uh, this is a classic, um, basically, uh, twin stick shooter. Really, really fun game. Done very well. We have APB. Again, just look at the beautiful artwork on these covers. I absolutely love these boxes. These are like artwork to me. I can just pick these up, look at the pictures on the back, read this, put it back on the shelf and be satisfied. Um, absolutely 
fun games. These are classics. And we have Stun Runner. Another fantastic game. Considering the draw level on these, draw distance on these, this system was not that great. And the speeds that this one can get up to, they did a great job on this one. Then we get into the three best games of the lot. This is uh, California Games. Uh, very, very rare to see complete in the box, especially in pristine condition. Uh, this was a pack-in game. So um, you, it came with the game and the manual whenever you bought a Lynx. So for this game to have a box, uh, a retail version of its own, um, is pretty uncommon. And this is a beautiful copy. So again, Jeff, thank you for that. And then we have Ninja Gaiden, uh, another very hard game to find complete in the box. Uh, this is a game I've had loose for quite some time, but could never track down the manual and box for it. Um, I do have Ninja Gaiden 3, uh, the Sacred Stones, um, sealed, I believe, for the Lynx. Uh, but they did not have a Ninja Gaiden 2, so very happy to have this one complete in the box finally. So now that gives me a loose extra copy of Ninja Gaiden for the Lynx. So I'm definitely racking up some extra games for the trading pile. And then the last Lynx game is Lemmings, which is super, super uncommon to find complete in the box. This has got a little bit of shelfware. Um, however, it's still in damn good shape considering what you see online. If you even see one online, I have not seen a complete in box copy online. And um, well, I can't tell you the last time I even saw one. So really happy to have a complete inbox copy of this game this is an absolute classic and uh really really happy to have this one so again jeff thank you so much for the hookup on these and then the last item guys is something that i uh well a couple items he sent me uh this thing of extras here this is an extra speaker for the lynx as I am having problems with one of mine. So he sent me an extra speaker for free. So really, really cool of him. And then this is a bag of, um, well, now I'm having a brain fart and I can't think uh, all of a sudden, capacitors. He sent me about 20 capacitors in here for the links. So uh, really, really cool. Again, thank you for that. And then here is a pin for APB. Now, I'm not 100% positive, but I think this could be one of the pins that you would send off to get if you uh, got a certain high score in the game. Uh, they used to send you pins, so that could be what that is. I don't know for sure. It could just be a random pin for the Atari game, but either way, he sent me these for free, so that was really cool. I, I do appreciate that. And then the last item, guys, is this for the Lynx. An item I'm really happy to have. So now when I'm doing my handheld game of the week videos and I want to show you guys a Lynx game, I no longer have to pull those games out of the box because I have this beautiful Ben Vin flash cart for the Lynx that is fully loaded with every Atari Lynx game release. I have been playing the crap out of this the last few nights, and I love it. So Jeff hooked me up with this thing, uh, great price on this, and he had it fully loaded, or he fully loaded it with all the Lynx games on there for me, so I didn't have to do any work when I got it. All I had to do was pop it in and play, and I absolutely love this thing. So again, Jeff, a huge thanks to you, man. This thing is, even the back of this thing is just absolutely beautiful. So now I don't have to worry about damaging um, boxes, getting games out, or even opening specific sealed games that I have to play because now I have a way to play that. So uh, those are my pickups for the week, guys. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, 
think about hitting that subscribe button for me. And if you enjoy my content, you can also check me out on Instagram. That is Steve Craig Retro Games, same as it is down below. And of course, every Monday, every Friday, every other Wednesday, I'm dropping videos and random ones when I get the chance. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this pickups video. Let me know down below. Uh, what do you think of the Game Gear? What do you think of the Lynx? Do any of you guys collect for either one of them? And if so, what do you think about the games I grabbed for those two systems? Uh, I think they're both awesome systems that don't get quite enough love, so I'm happy to spread that joy. Um, otherwise, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, I really do appreciate it. I hope all of you guys have a fantastic weekend. And until next Monday, take care of yourselves out there, guys, and keep gaming.